Hello everyone, Malekith here and welcome to RimWorld. Now this, I believe, is still in early access, but it's been in it for quite a while. Um, a lot of the videos I took a glance of were from December 2014, I believe. So for a start, the features are going to have come a long way since what I watched. So fully expect me to not know what I'm doing, even though I have prepared a little bit. Uh, I've not played it yet and it's kind of Dwarf Fortress-like, that's the best description I can give. And if you like it, let me know in comments that you want to see more. For the guys watching this back on YouTube later, you'll probably get about three videos out of this one stream. So at the end of the third video, please leave your feedback on whether you'd like to see more or not. So the idea behind this is you were on, I believe it's this ship, which looks you know rather unhealthy and you sort of crash land on a world and then you have to try and survive build a ship and take off um beyond that i don't think there's too much huge amount of story to it but um we'll see what it says because like i said i've only watched videos of about a, over nearly two years ago okay choose a scenario crash landed three crash landed survivors the classic grim world experience the rich explorer, one rich explorer out to experience the universe, or the lost tribe, five lost tribes people attempt to rebuild. So we're going to go with Crash Landing because it's the one that I have a vague clue how it operates. So the three of you awake in your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later you land on this unknown rim world. The faction will be a colony, start with three people and then you get a load of resources. Now, if we have a look at the scenario editor, let's randomize the seed. Um, let's put my name in and see what comes out. Oh no, maybe maybe we won't do that. We'll go with the classic one. It's actually changing the start conditions. It's not just a new sort of world map. Right. Now this is, they're calling it an AI storyteller. It basically determines how the AI throws events at you. So I think this one, Cassandra was, let me just check. Yeah, so Cassandra is one that sort of starts with fairly rare events and builds up on a curve and increases the challenge as you go. So as you become more developed, the challenges get harder. Phoebe's the... Um, the chilled, relaxed one where not a lot happens and, you know. And then Randy Random, which is a great name. Just, as it implies, completely random. So we're going to go with Cassandra Classic and I believe it recommends Rough as the sort of selection for your first playthrough. So it's a rough planet, threats can be quite dangerous and there are no bonuses to colonist mood or crop yields. And I'm permadeath, what's this? Oh, you get one save file. Now, we won't do that for the simple reason that if a recording screws up, I'm going to have to try and fix it and potentially go back to it. Ah, here we go. So here's the world seed thing that I was potentially trying. So if we use my name, if you guys have this game, you can use the same one and therefore get the same map that I will be playing on. Um, it's the second smallest. Let's just bump it up one. And generate. So, this is the world map we've got. The color coding is um, what the temperatures, I believe, or whatever you want to call them. So, biomes, that's the one. Tundras, this one. Temperate forest, desert, don't want that. Boreal forest, tropical rainforest. Ocean, obviously. Arid shrubland. Desert. Extreme desert. All these places you definitely don't want to go and live. Right. I'm going to try jungle. I'm not really sure why. I just kind of feel like it. Alright. Mountainous jungle. Growing period, the 11th. Ah. So here we go. This growing period is how long you can get crops for. So I'll find a year round one. Average temperature, we might run into some issues. 
but well, that would just make it more interesting. Um, I guess we'll try there. I don't know if you only get this bit of map or if you get the border regions around it. I mean, what, what is over here just so we can have a look? Don't know what the different stone types mean either. I'm going to go for there. Why not? So this is where we pick our three starting people. Let's find... There's some skills I looked up. Apparently you want shooting, medicine, uh, growing and mining, and potentially cooking, I think, was maybe the fifth one. As, you know, you want a good mix of them among your characters, and you want to watch what they're incapable of doing and what their traits down here are. So we'll try and get, I don't know, oh, really? Nope. Sasquatch. Uh, right, anyway, growing. Level 7, mining level 8, that's not bad. They are a night owl, so they like to work at night. I guess you could mine at night. I'm not sure growing would be... So good. Hmm. Out of tune with others, she's affected by psychic phenomenon. That's not bad. Incapable of violent might be bad though. Because you need your early people to actually defend the colony. We'll try again. Old gunshot in the head. Excellent. Slow poke, so they move slowly. No. Here we go. Medicine's good. But they're a pyromaniac. <laughs> Incapable of firefighting and vi mm. Come on, game. Throw me a bone here. Alright, hard worker. Pessimist. Permanent mood effect. They're incapable of scary. They're good at shooting, they're reasonable at medicine. They're not even bad at mining, growing. They're awesome at research, right. Oh, come on, I can spell. So, our first guy here is going to be Chadman, because, I don't know, he's a hard worker but a pessimist. Doris, you're not going to stay looking like that on this world, Doris, you're going to be eating vegetables fairly soon. Alright, let's see, we, hang on, what was Chad good at? Shooting, medicine. So we want someone who's very good at growing. And someone who's good at mining. Oh, good at melee. Capable of intellectual and crafting is an annoying voice. Oh, he's slow and works at night. Nope. 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 That's... Still not helpful. Ah, mining. Psychically sensitive and bionic body parts are unethical. Okay. Who should we have as this then? Let's um Let's have Scumby. Scumby the Miner. And then in the last slot. Growing. Perfect. A child star. Incapable of dumb labour. Crafting and cooking. That could be bad. Chemical fascination. 
likely to go on binges. This is sounding more like dropkick than uh, I potentially would like. A shame it's female. We'll keep trying. Who's Martin Trigger happy? Has a bite scar and an old gunshot from his dumb labour. Purely looking for growing stat now. Here we go. Nope. Low wage worker. Optimus, teetotal. That doesn't sound like dropkick, but he'll do. So there we have our initial crew. Off we go. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no friendly fire trait for Chad Man. Anyone who's seen the. Uh, Rainbow Succeed video will understand that one. All right, the three of you awake in your crypto sleep sarcophagi. Oh yeah, we've seen that. You start making plans to survive. Down they come. Out they pop, along with a load of resources and a dog. We've got a male husky. All right, map wise. Where well, looks good. I want somewhere quite defensible. What are these? Slate. Slate. Undiscovered. Marble. Limestone. Hmm. What I'm thinking is this would be a nice place to build because it's quite defensible. But lugging all the resources all the way around there could be a significant issue. All right, first things first, let's sort out who gets the guns. So, how can we see their stats? Aha! Alright, Chadman was the crazy shooter. We'll put him with the best gun. Dropkick has terrible stats altogether, so we'll give him the knife. And Scumby... Eh, it's not too bad. We'll give him the pistol. They will go get their stuff. Right, let's. Um, got to unforbid these resources. A uh, chinchilla, yes. Okay. I see a problem here. No empty place configured to store it. Right. Um, work. That's not the one I want. We'll come back to that in a minute. Sign. No. Architect. Ah, zone area. Stockpile zone. Make one there. And we'll have them lug some important stuff around. Jed. All that. Gumby, all the medical. And dropkick, all the other bit of food there. Probably want to let them grab this other stuff as well. Let's 
speed this up a bit. Hopefully they don't get eaten or attacked or something on the way. I guess we'll find out. Right then. What we got here? Slate chunk. Marshy soil. Was it Dropkick the farmer? I think he was. Let's assign an area for food growing. Growing zone. Do that for the minute. And then, I don't know, a little strip down the side here. Oh no, that didn't work too well. Ah! How do you... Nope. Nope. Delete zones. There we go. Yeah, I want to create a new growing zone. Yeah, that's not that's not doing what I want it to do. I'll put it slightly off to the side then. Right in there, we will plant something in here heals it heal root. Medicinal herb when harvested. In there, we'll just let him do potatoes. Okay. Let's have a look. Who was the miner? You got a six. Gumby's got the 13. Okay. Gumby is going to dig. Hmm. Uh. A lot of nice supplies in this. Gumby. You're going to... How do I tell him to dig an area? Nope. Under... Borders. Mine. There we go. No, we'll put it there. A bit easier to block off if I need to later. The scumby will hopefully dig that. Dropkick's working on the food. Now, Chad, what did we want you to do? Pass. Um... We'll just leave him hauling stuff, I guess. All right, let's assign these priorities here. So growing can go up to two is important. Put firefighting up to high. There we go. Let's set him to go grow the food. I'm assuming marsh is kind of bad for growing stuff in, along with marshy soil, but yeah, fertilizer 70%. Sign a tamed animal. What was that dog? I'm sure that said training on it somewhere. No idea where we landed now.
Wait, what? Oh, there he is. All right, training. Animal can haul items. Drag people to safety. Nice. Gumby's. Oh, he nearly finished the shortcut. Now he's gone off to eat. Chad's going to dig himself through on the other side. Nice. Right, let's mine out some other stuff. I don't know. Four wide by... That seem alright for rooms for them to sleep in. So, get them a bedroom area that's kind of central. going to be dark and I haven't told them where to sleep. Hmm. Let's have a look at their workloads. It's going to be the miner. We'd have mining as his second highest priority. we will actually go do it. Or Chad. It's flick. Flick switches. Okay. Interesting, Chad's the only one that can research. So I think research might be a later thing. Gumby's just napping on the rock. A husky's just asleep down there. Figure how your colony should automatically respond to threats like predatory animals. Choose flee. And I'll choose it from the assign menu. That. Oh, flee. Okay. Gumby, you're meant to be digging. Have I... Like, not told it to dig out? Ah, there we go. It didn't come all the way to the edge. Chat with Chad Man, apparently. What's their needs? Darkness, uncomfortable, feeling bad. Slept on the ground, slept outside, slept in the cold. Yeah. Once we sort the the bedroom out, it should be less of an issue. 
I wonder if I really should have made this too wide so they could pass each other. We'll do that. A bigger storage area, and I think you meant to store stuff under cover or inside. Somebody wants me to make Dropkick wear the worst clothing ever. <laughs> Nudist. No, not doing that. Going. Oh, just to have a lay in the sun. He's cloud watching, apparently. Um, sign a larger stockpile zone just for the minute. You can always hike it somewhere else later. Security, no. Um, furnish that, right, that's where the beds are. Ah, door. Wood. Good job, Chad. One of them can sleep properly now. Who's going to get it? The dog, apparently, no. Oh well. Dropkick. Dropkick stole the bed. Everyone else is sleeping on the floor. Alright, so Dropkick should be better rested now because he actually had a bed to sleep in. Oh, this looks like you've been here a while. Scumby thinks you should give the community a name. Um, we need a community name, guys, in chat. Let's think. Um... No hope. Not calling it last hope. It is no hope. Because I think Chad the Chad the chef. Nope, Chad's not the chef. Who's going to be cooking, guys? Gumby's not great. Oh dear, Dropkick's in charge of food. So, rotate it round. There we go. Someone gets a slightly larger room because random cave in. Mad animal. A local tortoise has gone mad. It will attack everyone it sees. 
Okay. Um. We'll set it in hunt mode and. Uh oh. It's coming. It's coming. Uh. Chad. Where are you going? After you. 